an incident that has left families with no strength to soldier on. Emotions are still high. Destitute residents say they are still tormented by the disaster. It is not easy for them to carry on as their livelihoods are now upside down. Residents remain helpless and calling for any kind of assistance. We feel like those who have been taken by our government are receiving better treatment than us. We are asking for houses so that we can stay with our families, please. Our houses have been destroyed and the furniture is damaged. The Mukhadi family is devastated. They are barely coping as they continue to search for 50-year-old Mandele Mohadi. It's painful to see others are here, but my mom is nowhere to be found, and I'm the last person to see her slipping from my hands and being swallowed by the slush. I witnessed the houses collapsing. It is just God's grace that I'm still alive, but my heart is painful. She was behind me and my son when we were trying to escape and all of a sudden she was nowhere to be found. The sludge kept on pushing us. It was a scary situation. Government has confirmed that the number of the missing people has risen to two. They say search and rescue operations have been activated and maintains that it will assist all the affected residents. People are saying to me, some of the people that are not there, they were not supposed to be there. And others who are supposed to be there, they're still here. So we are just going to identify and make sure those people that are there are the right people. Families have also appealed to government to fast track counseling for them as ABC Lise DFM have joined in donating food and clothes to residents, Aphumelele Mjalane, SABC News, Yachas Fontaine.